everyone welcome to external star channel uh, my name is Marek and today I'm gonna do unboxing of a brand new Toyota Highlander which just came today and the very first thing I need to do is to uh, cut it here so I'm just gonna do it in front of you Okay, so that's the basic cut and also from the sides. And I will try to do that really quickly today. Because my last video it took like 10 minutes to unbox it and today we don't have so much time, so... Alright one box in another okay. so that's the bubble foil okay and we will just remove it here by cutting again okay should be quite straightforward to cut this out So this one came from China again, but this one it took like four weeks before it came. Okay, so I need to cut it, cut it a little bit more. Okay, that's the way. And again, I don't want to destroy the inner box in case I will sell it in future. I want this to be in a perfect shape. That's also why I'm using a gloves and stuff like that. All right, so let's just put this aside. So probably you are not able to see it yet, but uh, this paper is already a little bit transparent and this is why I know what is inside already. Okay, one cut here, one on the other side. There's a thin paper here, okay. So one more here. That's quite nicely packed. I must say. All right, and here is the box. And I can already see the car inside. So that's the Toyota Highlander. And yeah, there's actually nothing more. I can only see that this is Toyota Highlander. And here, some Chinese letters. I have no idea what it means. And please pay attention to this uh, black circle here. Uh, it means that this specific model will have a black color, okay? And here I can see also uh, the silver color. However, this one will not be silver, it will be black. And from the bottom of the box... Uh, choking hazard, not suitable for children under 14. And... This one was produced somewhere in China, 1 to 18 scale, and that's basically it. Here I can see uh, the red or purple color, but again, as I said, this one will be black. And here uh, I can see there is uh, already a crack here. Uh, so during the transport they destroyed the box a little bit, which is a shame, okay? So, let me first open it here. It still looks like brand new, but, you know, if the box is a little bit broken, like here, it a little bit loses value, and I'm a little bit sad about it. Okay, so here, simple. I will just disconnect this paper here, remove this, 
and sometimes it also says this uh, is the top side or uh, this side is top here it doesn't say anything and there are no screws so I'm just guessing that this is the top side and here I need to be more patient and more precise because if I cut too much then I can scratch the color uh, from the car so I don't want to cut too deep okay it's just one or two millimeters okay and also from this side Okay, it's already a little bit open, so let me just adjust the camera a bit. And now, surprise, surprise, it's here. Black color, and here the door opening tool, okay, very nice. And the car itself is here, and I will just place it here. Okay, and what else do we have? Uh, there's nothing else here. Yeah? That's just paper here, paper there, and this plastic door opener. Nothing else. So another step would be to uh, unwrap uh, the model here. It's a thin foil. Okay. So how? What would be the best way to do that? because I don't really want to scratch anything here. So I will now use scissors to cut it. And really I don't know where to start, so I just decided to start here. So this is really a great way how to pack things to avoid any dust going uh, into it and I know that once I remove this um, I will never fully get rid of all the dust so the dust will be there immediately okay cool car and uh, I already feel it's quite heavy all right so here we go that's the car and let me just zoom the camera a bit so that's the first look and now of course uh, I will review the car so where to start as usually uh, we start here uh, with describing uh, the in exterior so maybe I will start right here and show you what is here the front lights and I see that the front lights are quite cool and then we have the Toyota logo and yeah there are some small things there and I don't know what it is maybe you can see it as well it's here uh, there are some flaws it's just very little bit but I can still see it it's not 100% precise okay and then uh, there is this uh, Toyota Highlander uh, the license plate I had to adjust the light a little bit uh, there was too much light and it was not quite visible so once again we have the license plate here it says Highlander and then we have some Chinese letters and I have no idea what it means okay so if somebody is here watching from China please uh, help me translate this I think it could be Toyota but it could be also anything else okay so I'm from the side uh, the wheels they have a small Toyota logo here 
and there are also five screws and uh, yeah the wheels are quite nice and shiny and I can see also uh, the brake calipers and the brake discs so everything is quite nicely done and of course the rubber tires and yeah they feel quite well it's really rubber all right so what I always check is if the front grille is perforated or not in this case it is perforated which is what I admire I love it and sometimes if this this is not perforated I just say that the model quality is not that high okay so what, what I also always check is if here the chrome trims if everything is in line and here as you can see this is really one line and there are no overlaps it's the same quality the same width and yeah I like it I like it very much so there are no mistakes no nothing visible at the moment so let's move uh, to the rear side and we can see the rear uh, rear lights and there is a combination of white and red and we can also see the individual LED lights and this is very nicely done I must say okay and there is also this uh, Viper here uh, we cannot move it yeah it's a fixed uh, it's very fixed here we cannot move it at all okay and again here on the license plate and here we have something like Toyota and then some Chinese letters and I'm, I'm not able even to recognize what that is again and the Highlander brand again here it's limited AWD which means all-wheel drive and here a uh, small V6 here yeah which means six cylinders okay so Overall, the exterior is very nice. And okay, let me also check this. This is the gas door, and in this case, it cannot be opened. No, it can't. And here uh, on the roof, there is also a big glass window, but this cannot be moved. It can, it can't be opened. Okay. So let me now check uh, what is under the hood, the engine, and sometimes there is a button here which I can press and then open the hood, but it's it's not here, it's missing. So I will just use this to open it. All right. So what do we see here? It's the V6 engine with the Toyota logo on it, and then uh, we have some yellow parts here, some signs, maybe that's the notice, and then we have uh, the tank for the fluids here, yeah, also some details here, not so bad, but also not drastically great. I would say that this is average again and this is from Powdy models so uh, I would expect uh, average quality here so also from the behind when I try to open this okay there is some piece of paper another piece of paper and there's actually more and more paper in it oh so much amazing so you see everything I was fitting inside. I will just throw it away and show you uh, the interior. So, what we have here is the carpeting, and there are some small holes in it. Maybe this can be somehow moved. So, I will just try to gently lift uh, the floor here. Okay, maybe it's not even possible. It looks like it is, but I don't want to destroy anything. I don't want to break it, but I will try from this position here. 
no. It looks like I'm destroying the whole car. <laughs> you see, I made the hole even bigger now. So, okay, maybe this cannot be lifted. And I shouldn't even try it, because now what I did here is one hole here, another hole here. Of course, this could be fixed uh, when I just do it the opposite way. Okay, and here I can lift up the third row of the seats, so this can be moved up and down, okay? And obviously, oh, first mistake here. This is the first thing uh, I just noticed, and it's here. This just came out of it, okay? So maybe I can fix it quickly just by pushing that back. I hope so. Okay. See, so now the whole part is a little bit broken. Okay. What I would expect is a little bit better quality here. You see now how this is moving? This is not good. So maybe I will not open open it again because I want to prevent this from breaking completely. I will just close it. Okay, and I will leave it closed. Now the doors. The doors can be open, of course, from both sides. And as I already mentioned, we will start here uh, with the second row of the seats. And this can be pushed up, okay? And also this one. It's now up. And by the way, I quite like the quality of the interior. There, there is carpeting and also uh, the inside of the door is quite nicely done. You see here, uh, there are different colors. You have this beige and black and also some chrome parts uh, and also uh, small wooden parts. And yeah, that's just imitation of wood, but at least the color uh, reminds us that there should be some wood. Okay, and now the front seats, the most exciting part, also the steering wheel. And the quality of the steering wheel is superb. Okay, so there is uh, the Toyota logo again, some chrome parts, and overall there are no significant flaws. So that's great interior here. Also, let me show you from the other side. So again, you see here uh, the inside of the doors and then the interior, okay? And what I just see here that you can also move somehow the front seats, you see, you can move it like this. Okay, but there is something what I don't like and here you can see those gaps, okay? So once again, I will show you, it's here, between the two plastic parts, there are big holes and I don't know why. What is the reason for that? Yeah. So I don't like this one. And then maybe I would expect that somebody would also uh, paint a color over those uh, seat controls. Yeah. I don't think that on the real car it's without any color. Okay. Can I shift and pull the seat? No, only like this. Okay, that's it. That's all what I can do. Pull it back and then pull it, pull it forwards. Okay, so I can move the seats like this, which is great. Adjustable seats. Oh, really, that's, that's amazing. Okay, and then uh, can I open something here? No, this glow box cannot be opened. And then we have something here. This cannot be opened, I think. No, I, and I don't want to break it. Yeah, every, every time I want to open something which is not supposed to be opened, then I usually I break it. 
and then you can see that there is nothing on the screen here it's just black sometimes I prefer when there is something like a picture a screenshot of the screen not just black okay and then the air vents here it's not perforated yeah it could be perforated I would prefer that but other than that I mean the quality is quite high what I will also try to um, move back the driver's seat okay seems like this one is fixed so you can only pull uh, the second seat the passenger seat but not the driver's seat okay so overall I must say the quality is quite high. I will just try to close it now. Okay, so just check it. Do you like it? I, I do, I do. It's very nice and I think um, for this price and I paid like 120 bucks for that, it's a very nice model. And now what I always also check is the suspension. So is it working? Yes, the rear wheels, the suspension is working and in the front it's very hard to push it, but yeah, also working. And then, oh, wow, this is not nice. So when I try to uh, drive the car, yeah, outside, then here, you see this, how this is spinning. This is a very bad quality because it's spinning like, I don't know, not really correctly. Yeah, it's moving to different sides. No. This one is definitely not for playing because uh, it's very difficult to spin the wheels, to drive it. No, sometimes the front wheel, even uh, the front wheels, if you can see it, the front wheel sometimes uh, it doesn't move at all, yeah? Okay. Now, how much can we turn the wheels? Okay, you can turn on the front wheels, of course, and it's like, okay, 30 degrees, 20 degrees, something like that. It's not the worst, but also not the best, but I think it's sufficient, at least uh, they tried. So, yes, you can move it, and uh, the steering wheel is moving as well so this is connected here what else uh, the front wipers here and this is again fixed you cannot move it and it's just one piece of plastic each of them and what I always test is also the, the rear mirrors so here First you see the, the rear light, excellent, but then also I want to see the rear mirrors. And in this case, first of all they can't be folded, it's not possible, and then uh, the reflection is also not, uh, not that good. So that, that's just a sticker, expect a little bit better quality. Okay, so overall, this Toyota Highlander. Uh, a great model yeah I must admit that this one is really nice it's heavy with a lot of details they paid a lot of attention to details but it's not a uh, superior quality so my rating would be uh, 65 to 70 percent considering the price tag 120 bucks and if I recommend to buy this one, uh, probably yes, if you have already all other models, if you have all the BMWs, X5, if you have, I don't know, uh, all the Infinity cars and stuff like that, then this Toyota is the next step uh, for your collection. Yeah. What I will also need to do is to clean a little bit here, because uh, the paint is a bit dirty. Yeah, it's not what I expect also. So I will, I will need to wax it, clean it, and 
once uh, it will be more shiny maybe I will be also more happy one more last thing that I want to show you is here from the bottom you see that this was done uh, by license from Toyota and made in China a lot of Chinese letters I don't understand and there is the exhaust and nothing else yeah but at least uh, there are some details even if this is uh, not something that we would be proud of okay so I mean that's it I hope you enjoyed this Toyota Highlander unboxing video thank you for watching uh, if you like please do not forget to subscribe and I will talk to you next time bye bye